So I did this look based on Cardi B's red carpet looks every day. It's just literally inspired. It's not just from like one certain look. It's from a whole bunch of looks. I hope you guys really enjoy my video. I get pretty nervous doing these, but I want to keep on continue doing these videos for you guys and for myself too. So yeah, keep on watching. So I'm going to start off by spraying my Glow Mist. So I, when I was at Target, I picked this one up first. And I really like how this works from I Love Sarai. I got it from her and she recommended it. Um, it's the Pixie Glow Mist. It really does make you glow as you can see. I just <laughs> bathed in it. And then for my Milani Make It Last, it is also like a setting spray, but it is also like a primer spray. So I would say it's kind of like the Smashbox one, but just like a little cheaper alternative. And then if you put it on before, it really does make your skin tacky. That's why I like it. But I'm going to start off with my base, okay? My base, since she glows, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Pixie Glotion Day Do. And as you can see, look at my before skin, right? It's already glowing because of the glow mist. But this, look. And then I watched this on Desi Perkins channel like a year ago. And then I was like, wow. Because I always thought, like, damn, her skin is super nice. What does she do? Like, just, does, she just, does she just drink a lot of water? Like, is that what I'm not doing? Maybe. You know, most likely. But this is like a cheat for that, okay? No need water. You see? That is so cute. And I, I see in a lot of her like red carpet looks or even if she just goes to like a club or whatever, she loves neutral colors. She's not really about colors unless she's in like her music videos or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by using my Milani Conceal and Perfect. I'm in the shade Light Beige. Um... Three. Just apply it with my finger. Like I swear I never do this, and then once I start recording, I start doing some weird shit. <laughs> Whatever. I just don't want to show you my dirty brush. What I like about this foundation is that it's like very smooth and it smells it smells like I look wild okay let me blend this out before I talk I what I like about it is that it doesn't smell because you know how some foundations you know they have a smell and it's weird like even high-end foundations they kind of smell weird too We'll use this, the Instant Age Rewind, but I took off the little top because to me I just think that's kind of unsanitary and it kind of just eats all your product up anyways. So I'm going to go ahead with my palette and I'm just going to, you know, twist it there. And you don't need that much because this does go a long way. But, so real quick, before the shirt's creasing, I'm going to take my air spun. Oh, God. I'm going to go in with my fake beauty blender because I'm poor. And I'm going to go ahead and start baking. If you have any questions on baking, I'm going to link my video down below. And make that face again. God, and just set my under eyes because I don't want them to crease because I still have to go ahead and put some cream. What I should do is do the cream contour first and then do my concealer. Hmm. And then I'm going to go in with my Fit Me Stick Foundation in the shade Coconuts. And I'm going to go ahead and just do this. And blend it out with that Real Techniques uh, Expert Face Brush. This shit's dank, okay? Don't sleep on it. It's only like, I don't know, 
eight dollars but anyways, um, this is the part where I go in with a lot of like Cody airspun. And I just, because I'm an oily face. I'm an oily face. I have an oily face. So I'm going to like set the bottom of my eyes again, set my nose, set my forehead, set my chin, set my lines right here. Because I'm a server and I sweat when I work. And then I go everywhere. I don't know if I mentioned I'm going to work after this, that's why. And while we're waiting, I'm going to start my eyebrows. So I did my eyebrows. I'm going to film a tutorial on that, so that's why I didn't show it. Okay. So what I noticed in a lot of her looks, they're extremely neutral. But she does have like a subtle cut crease, and then she does have, um, sometimes pops the color under her eyes. I don't know if I want to go with that today. But I am going to do the very neutral lid with the subtle cut crease and like a little bit of shimmer on her eyes. Uh, so let's get started. So for this look for my eyes, I'm going to be using the Soft Glam Palette. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Tempera, which is the first one right here. The whitest one. Same, put it all over my lid. I'm going to go in with the shade Orange Soda. So the next shade is the burnt orange one. I'm just going to start warming it up a little bit more. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Sienna, which is like a rusty red. And I'm going to go ahead and just put that in the crease in the front and then drag it to the back. And I'm doing windshield wiper motions, kind of blending it up, but not all the way up. Just stay in the crease and slightly above. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Rustic. And I'm going to go ahead and just go over it like this. And keep it more. These two are blended and it's the same amount of color on both. I remember when I first started doing my makeup, I would never, I would never do them at the same time like this. I would do this whole eye, and then I would do this whole eye. And then I wonder why they would look different sometimes, you know? And then I'm going to go in with the Cypress Umber. This concealer that I'm using is called the Full Coverage Concealer. It's by NYX. It's in the shade Beige. It's in the little pots. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease with this. What I do is I get like some product and then I remove it on the back of my hand. And then whenever I need more product, I go in on the back of my hand. Okay. And you have to make sure that after you put the concealer that you set it because then it's going to start creasing and it's going to look horrible. And then you just want to kind of blur the edges a little bit because it is a subtle cut crease. It's not going to be like harsh as f Cardi B ain't like that. Only sometimes. Going with the back of like a, like a little small brush and I'm just going to start wetting it. And I want to go in with the shade Glistening. For my liner, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. Okay, perfect. You see the liner? You see the liner? The Voluminous Original. L'Oreal Paris and I'm gonna go ahead and just put on the mascara I literally dropped my phone in water oh my god oh my god oh my god Oh, 
how lucky am I, dude? Look at this. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Shut the up! I had to blow it out like a Nintendo 64 game. Are you gonna behave or are you not gonna behave? So I'm just gonna go ahead by putting on some lip gloss and that's it because she usually just has lip gloss on. So I'm gonna set my face and I'm gonna go in with the Master Chrome in the gold one. I don't know the name, but I took it off. And I'm going to just go ahead and highlight my face. And we're done! So let me go ahead and start doing these weird poses. Uh, and feeling myself a little bit. What a lick. Lick. Hey. What a lick. Run up on me, you get hit. Run up. And all my bitches with the shit Yeah Bones, New York, get the bitch yeah. Looking like I, I want to tell the people out there at all I want to tell the people out there That thank you for supporting me And if you don't, suck my Set up, you know I got